Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya! What's up, fourth grade? Welcome to episode number seven of the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Yes, I'm wearing the same hat. It's the same day, okay? At this time, I would like for you to go ahead and answer number one and number two on your worksheet. If you don't have the worksheet, check out the link below. It'll take you to a place where you can download the worksheet that you need for this episode, as well as the other episodes in this fourth grade Math FSA Boot Camp Series. So go ahead, pause the video, throw down your best, and come on back and see me when you're ready. Welcome back. All right. So number one, I'm taking a quick scan -z poo. I'm seeing a question. I'm seeing four answer choices. And so I'm going to predict that this is a multiple choice question. Okay, let's mark up the question. It says how many times, how many times greater is the value? That's the amount. What is something worth? of the seven in this number, which reads 70,234, then the value, which is the amount of the same digit, seven, in the number 7,024. This is a place value question right here. And what I like to do for these is to go ahead and line up the two numbers that they're giving me. I've got 70,000, 234 here and here's my seven and then I have the number 7,000 7,024 you see how it's nice and lined up and here's my seven so this question is asking how many times greater is this seven than this seven well, let's go ahead and determine what the values are the value of this seven would be seven zero 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 seventy thousand this seven has a value of seven thousand or seven zero zero zero. So how many times greater is seventy thousand than seven thousand? Well, if you notice, this seven is in the thousands place. This seven is in the ten thousands place. And when we're going from one place value into the very next one, we're always multiplying by 10. Or if we're going back, we're dividing by 10. So that means that this seven right here is 10 times greater than this seven. Do we see that? We do. And it's right there, B. Which also makes sense because 70,000, I'm sorry, because because 7,000 times 10 equals 70,000. 
Cool. All right, go ahead and check your work. And do you notice how I showed my journey on paper? I always encourage you to do that too. I catch so many of my mistakes when I'm showing my journey on paper, so make sure you do that too. Let's check out number two. Doing a quick scan, I see a grid here, so that must mean that this question type is a gridded response. Jot it down. All right, gridded response. That means my answer is going to go into the grid and bubble it in. Let's read the question. What number, so I'm gonna have obviously a number go here. What number is 10 times greater than 360? All right, for my brain to get this, I'm going to transform the words into numbers and symbols. So what number, make a box, cause I don't know, it's what number is equals, cause is means equals, what number is 10 times greater than 360? Well, to figure out this number, let's go ahead and solve this equation. 10 times 360 would be 360 with another zero. Anytime we're multiplying by a multiple of 10, we just add that zero to the back of it. So that would be 3,600. See that? Two. 3,600. Now, 3,600 has a comma in it, but when we go to put it in, these are not commas, y'all. These are what? They're not periods either, they're decimals. And we only use these when we're using a decimal. So if your answer, I know I get on my students all the time, make sure you include your comma, make sure you include your comma. But for the gridded response, there's nowhere to put a comma, so we just don't put it. So I'm going to write it like this. 3,600. If your teacher has been training you or if you prefer to go 0063, that's totally cool. Your goal is to start from the left or start from the right. Just don't put it in the middle weird like that. And don't forget to bubble it in because if you don't bubble it in, the computer cannot scan anything. It thinks that you did not pick anything. Boom, that's how you do it. That was a quick episode today. Now look, if you think that I went kind of quick through these types of questions, I encourage you to get some more practice. You can do that at McCarthy Math 155. There's a link below or somewhere around this video for you to click. Teachers, students, parents, if you have access to McCarthy Math 155, check out unit number one. That will take you to more place value questions like this that we did today. Teachers, just so you know, if you're a member, you can share these videos with your students. There's pretty much a video for every day of the school year. Check it out. Um, and I walk you through how to share the videos in the tutorials tab. I've also included a link to the how to pass the math FSA series for this particular standard right here. Now I did create the how to pass the math FSA series a few years ago, back when it was a computer based test. It's a paper based test now for grades three through five, which is why I'm revamping the math FSA boot camp series. That's why we're getting this one. But they're still great questions, so check that out if you need some more practice, and they have videos that go along with it too. I encourage you to stay in the loop with everything McCarthy Math Academy by following me on my social media platforms. I'm on Instagram at McCarthy Math Academy. I'm on Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy, and I'm also here on YouTube course at McCarthy Math Academy. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, if you want me to make some more videos, go ahead and smash that like button right now. And you can also subscribe to my videos. That way you're in the loop and you're the first to know when I drop a new video. Finally, before we go, I just want you to know, I always like to remind you that you were created for a purpose. That's right. You are the ones that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have a whole new generation of world changers ready to step it up and make this world a better place. Remember that when you have the choice and you always have the choice to choose kindness, okay? And I will see you guys on the next episode.